Hey everybody! Today I'm going to talk about communication on the internet, specifically on one little corner of the internet called Neopets.com. Now, everybody knows that the internet is incredibly useful for networking and talking to people. And though Neopets puts somewhat more emphasis on feeding your virtual animals and dressing them in cute costumes, they are loath to stop their users from interacting and forming friendships. To this end, they have features known as Neoboards, or simply boards, which allow users to interact with their fellows in group chats, and Neomail, which allows users to have a closed one-on-one -on -one interaction. We'll be focusing on Neomails today. So say you're chatting with a friend, planning an event, Here's a fragment of something that you might potentially say to them. Bring a whole cucumber, nuts, and a bowl of grapes to the party. It'll actually be upstairs. In other circumstances, we could put the drapes in the basement, but it's started to accumulate a lot of cracks. We're having some skilled people analyze the damage. Maybe they'll find something. Not too far-fetched and innocent, right? Neopets doesn't think so. You see, Neopets has a very strong sense of being a family site, and therefore certain words are blocked. You can't say any of the traditional swear words, obviously, and they block a wide variety of sexual words as well. That's not enough, however. See, Neopets is smart enough to realize that people might use these words as code in order to continue using language like this. Therefore, their filters are programmed to stop not only the words on their own, but any larger word that contains those words as well. Let's run through this sentence and find out why each word is blocked. So cucumber, circumstances, and accumulate are blocked because they contain the word come. Grapes and drapes are blocked because they include rape. Analyze includes anal. Skilled includes kill. Basement includes semen. Cracks is blocked because of the drug of the same name. Nuts is blocked for obvious reasons. And party is blocked because it's potentially a catalyst for all of these things. Oh, I forgot one. Something is blocked because it includes the word meth. So obviously this poses a myriad of problems. As you can see, the Neopet staff is way ahead of anybody who is trying to use these words as code, which makes it pretty hard if you're trying to have cyber sex, or if you only know your drug dealer through Neopets. Heck, even if you're just planning an innocent party, you can't use all the words that you might want to. And it's not like there's that many alternative websites that you could use for chatting and interacting with your friends. You could just not talk to people on Neopets, but then you're left talking to your Neopets and they don't always pose very interesting conversation. My puny arms can't even hold an attack pee. Shut up. Is it time for training yet? Shut up. Destructo match sounds like fun right about now. Shut up! This can be really annoying, but it helps to think of the situation as a creative challenge. How much can you rephrase your sentences to please the Neopets filters while still keeping your thoughts authentic? Let's try it. Bring the entirety of an unvinegared pickle, chipmunk candy, and a bowl of pre-wine berries to the social gathering. It'll actually be upstairs. Were things not as they are, we could put the curtain-like swaths of fabric in the musty downstairs storage area, but it started to acquire a lot of crazy zigzag crumbly patterns. We're having some persons of repute and knowledge inspect and study the damage. Maybe they'll find the reason for which the musty downstairs storage area is falling victim to these crazy zigzag crumbly patterns. Now, when you're rephrasing this, keep in mind that there is a character limit for Neo Males, so you might have to go back and rephrase your sentences again to something shorter, something like this. That's all I've got for today, guys. My Neopet's hungry.